Welcome back to CS50 Python week zero. In this video tutorial, we're gonna solve problem set one called playback speed. If you don't know how to set the environment, the virtual city code environment, you're gonna find the link to the video, the setup in the description of this video. Let's get started. This is CS50. <laughs> In this problem set, we're being asked to create a file called playback.py where we're gonna implement a program in Python that prompts, this is the first important keyword, prompts the user, which means that we are gonna use the function input. So prompts the user for input and then outputs that same input replacing this is the second important keyword replacing each space inside this input so this is the third keyword so we're going to replace each space in the input with three dots or three periods let's move on to PyCharm to see how we're going to do this as we said in the previous two videos we're going to make it a habit to write a pseudocode. What is a pseudocode? The pseudocode is writing these steps or organizing your thoughts to design your program. So first thing here, prompt the user for input. The second step, replace each space inside the input with three dots. So in order to do that, we know here that and the hence that input function returns a string we can see that here in PyCharm if we opened the Python console and we said s as a variable equals input and we can input anything enter a message and we said hello so if we said what is the type of s then we know that s is a string so here we're gonna start our solution we cannot say input right away yeah we can say but the program is not gonna save the input so instead we're gonna save the input in a variable called message and the parameter of the input itself is what is going to be shown to the user in the terminal itself we can say enter a message and give a space to the user to enter a message so what would happen after the user enters a message the message will be stored into a variable called message how to show that we will show that using a print function showing what showing message but until now if we do this the message will be shown as is but what we want to do we want to replace each space in the message with three dots in order to do that we're going to use a method called replace replace takes two parameters which is replacing what with what the first thing we want to replace is each space replace it with what Re replacing it with three dots so this is one way let's try out the program so python of playback dot by here we are having the message we are going to try what is mentioned in the test here itself the first message here is cs50 sorry it's this one cs50 we're gonna copy that by charm and we're gonna paste it here so cs50 it's gonna be this the space has been replaced by three dots the other space has been replaced with three dots this is one way the other way is we can use dot replace itself instead of using it inside print we can use print statement in a clearer way and we can move the method dot replace to be in 
the variable itself. So after the user enters the message, the message itself will replace using that replace method. It will replace each space with three dots or three periods and print it out. Let's try this again, Python. Let's copy another one. So let's copy this message and paste it in by charm. Here we go. So both ways work. Now let's move on to the same the same steps. So here we have to open the code space. I have it already opened here and we have to print CD to be sure that we are in the main to be sure that we are in the root directory and then we have to make a directory called playback then change to it and then create the application itself playback goodbye let's do this so make a directory called playback then change to playback and create the application playback.by then you can go to by charm and copy the same code and enter it here so as we said make it a habit to use check 50 before submitting your code because your code may have a problem when you use check 50 the virtual studio code itself will test everything so let's try this out so check 50 copy and we can use it here let's clear the screen and paste check 50 amazing so now cs50 virtual studio code has made all the necessary tests here they tried the first input and the result is what they want if it's in green color so it's correct this is the second test they have tried out the second message this is our week on functions and the output is correct the third also is correct in this case of all your tests are correct then you can go with submit 50 you can copy this and print it here you'll get prompted by the academy honesty and you will click yes or or why then your project will be uploaded successfully thank you for watching good luck see you in the next video